Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on 2D shapes. So there's four topics in this video, uh, the first of which is regular polygons. First of all, what's a polygon? Uh, well a polygon is just a 2D shape with straight sides. Um, and then a regular polygon uh, is a polygon where all the sides are the same length. So there's eight types below, let's go through and name them all. Uh, so a three-sided shape is obviously a triangle, um, but a regular triangle is known as an equilateral triangle. Uh, and then here we have a rectangle, which is a four-sided polygon. Um, but then a regular rectangle is known as a square. So a square is actually a type of rectangle. Uh, it's a regular rectangle. Uh, and then moving on to a five-sided shape, which is a pentagon. So this is a regular pentagon, as all the sides are the same length. And then a six-sided shape is known as a hexagon. Uh, so that's a regular hexagon. And then a seven-sided shape is a heptagon. Again, this is a regular heptagon. And then an eight-sided shape is an octagon. Uh, so that's a regular octagon. Uh, and then a nine-sided shape is a nonagon. Uh, so that's a regular nonagon. And then finally, uh, a ten-sided shape is a decagon. Uh, so this is a regular decagon. So the second topic we'll cover is irregular polygons. So uh, once again, a polygon is just a shape made up of straight sides or edges. Uh, but then an irregular polygon uh, is a polygon where the sides or edges are not all the same length. So uh, let's go through and name these. So we can see that there are one, two, three, four sides in this shape. Uh, so that makes this shape a quadrilateral. Um, so we can say that this is an irregular quadrilateral. Uh, and then in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five. So there are five sides. So this is an irregular pentagon. Uh, and then in this shape in the bottom left, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So this is an irregular hexagon. And then finally, the shape in the bottom right, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sides. Uh, so this is an irregular nonagon. So the third topic is six common quadrilaterals. Now a quadrilateral is just a four-sided shape. We've already seen a few of them. Uh, and let's just go through and name these six types. So the first one is a square, which we've already seen. Uh, we know it's a regular quadrilateral, um, but the main features are that all sides are equal and all internal angles are equal. They're all 90 degrees. And then moving on, we have a rectangle, sometimes called an oblong. And the main feature of a rectangle, or the main features, sorry, are that there are two pairs of equal sides and all of the internal angles are 90 degrees. Um, so actually a square is a type of rectangle. It's just a regular rectangle. Moving on, we have a trapezium. So the main feature of a trapezium is that there are one pair of parallel sides. And then in the bottom left here, we have a kite. The main features of a kite is that there are two pairs of equal sides, uh, but then also the angles on the inside, which are opposite each other here, uh, these two angles are equivalent. And then moving on, we have a parallelogram. Quite hard to say, quite hard to spell. Uh, the main features of a parallelogram, there's quite a few actually. Uh, there are, first of all, two pairs of parallel sides. So we'll label them like so. Uh, but then also internal angles, or sorry, opposite internal angles are equivalent. So I'll use two different colors here. Um, so the blue angles are equivalent and so are the red ones. Uh, but then also um, the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degrees. So uh, that's the blue angle plus the red angle equals 180 degrees. And then finally, we have a rhombus. Now you can think of a rhombus as sort of like a squashed square, and that's because all of the sides are equal, um, but there are two pairs of equal angles which are opposite each other. So the blue angles are equal, and so are the red angles. So the final topic we'll cover in this video are the four types of triangle. Uh, so first of all, we've already seen this, it's an equilateral triangle. Uh, so an equilateral triangle is a regular triangle, which means that all the sides are the same, uh, but then also 
all of the angles on the inside are also the same. They're all 60 degrees. And then moving on, we have an isosceles triangle. So an isosceles triangle has two equal sides uh, and also the base angles are the same. The third type is a right angle triangle. Does what it says on the tin, has a right angle. Uh, there are no specific other features in this triangle. And then finally, uh, the last type is known as a scalene triangle. And that's just a triangle that has no equal sides and no equal angles. So if we quickly take a look at a couple of examples here. Um, so for one mark, give the name of the shape below. Uh, well, how many sides are there? First of all, there's one, two, three, four, five. Um, we can see that there are no equal sides and no equal angles. Uh, so this is an irregular shape. So it's an irregular five-sided shape, which is a pentagon. Um, so that's all we need to put for one mark. Uh, moving on to the second example. Um, ABCD is a parallelogram. Angle ADC, that's this one here, is 56 degrees. Calculate the size of angle X. So uh, using our features of a parallelogram, we know that 56 degrees plus X equals 180 degrees. And that's because the two adjacent angles in a parallelogram add up to 180 degrees. So X equals 180 degrees minus 56 degrees, which equals 124 degrees. If you'd like to practice this topic more, you can visit our online exam, which is available through our revision platform. You'll find plenty of questions. You'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. Uh, so if you want to give it a try, then click the link below.